I want to say this part before we move on because I stand with D1. I stand with the stuff he he stand standing for. I'm I'm a Christian myself. I, I appreciate what he's standing for. I, I appreciate um, what he's talking about. I do think I love when rappers drop the grown man music. We talked about this even with Jay Z. I like I love four four four. Some some Jay Z fans don't like that album, but I, I love four four four. I like uh, you know albums like Charity Starts at Home and and you know the Little Brother. Um, the newest album, uh, "May the Lord Watch." I, I like the grown man music. I like that whole genre. I, I, I enjoy, and I'm not even that old, you know. I'm not even. I'm not, you know. Uh, I enjoy that type of type of not stuff. Everybody can do that. I don't want to hear my favorite gangster rapper ever make grown man music. But see, that's no, that's, that's insane, I'm right there. Doing. Hold on, that statement right there. That's what we talking about. Because that's exactly what D One was talking about. Why can't artists grow up? Okay, but that's not the same type of music that I became a fan of. So you got to understand yeah. that some people are going to leave too. And that's fine. Yeah, so that's true. Are you a fan of some people behind. And you got to yeah. say peace to them, just like your friends. You know, if you 50 years old and your friends want to do the same stuff, your son, let's go to a club. You 50 years old, my man, you shouldn't probably be in the club trying to be like talking to all these 18 year old girls. Like, you need to go somewhere else, my man. So, you know, that is the thing. Like, some stuff has to kind of get left um, behind as you get older. And it looks different for different people, right? Like, I still play tons of video games, but I also have kids and I play with them or I do different things like that. I mean, it's just not the same. Everybody mm-hmm. doesn't age that uh, gracefully, though, especially in music and hip hop. Like, Nas has done it well in Black Thought. Um, and I did think Jay Z did did well with addressing serious topics on full, 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 and things like that. Mm. Everybody can't do that. So exactly when you when you say because Bryson, when you say you all right, do you uh, become a fan of rappers for their content of their rhymes, like, or is it the quality of their music? I mean, because I'm interested when you say that. If you when you listen to a gangster rapper, you a fan of them only because they're rapping about shooting somebody. Yes, I like the way they rap about it. I'm not a fan of the per- I'm there's only like two people in rap that I'm actually a fan of the actual person. So I'll listen to their stuff, but other people know. If you ain't giving me the same thing that I heard the first time I listened to you, then keep it. I don't want to hear it. Hmm. I'm not a fan well, of yeah, I, I don't agree with that at all, man. I want to I want to hear what the what the people got to say. If I like if you had a classic album one time even when you was young, I'm gonna keep giving you. I'm gonna give you a chance. I check out your song. I'll check out your album, especially now when it's free. It's so easy for me. I ain't got to do no work to do it, and I'll listen to it. If it's trash right away, I'll turn it off. I won't, you know, after the first song. But if you can rap about something different, look, man. Like I said, we talked about this on what I don't know what episode that was, but Master Ace, Disposable mm-hmm. Arts. This dude has songs, and and all his songs was mostly about like chilling in your car. And, you know, younger people stuff, bumping a bunch of music was one of his biggest hits, sitting on Chrome and and that type of stuff. Um, And then he made an album about how he felt hip hop was and how he was getting left behind and how it was over for him and he was washed. Mm -hmm. And that was was a great album. Like Mm -hmm. everybody can't express that stuff the same way. But if you can do it well, I do think there's a lot of people that's going to be older um, who have grown up maybe with you or you're older than who would want to hear your music and are you going to be a, ch- a chart top? No. Can you tour off that? Can you sell merch off that? Probably. Um, Alchemist is doing great. I feel like he's not rapping about some of the same silly stuff. Um, I feel like other rappers can talk about being older, not being a child um, successfully. It's just a matter of you know your perspective and how you do it. Um, I, it also depends on what lane you're comfortable in being in. Are you cool with not being a, uh, the number one chart topping rapper? Because everybody's not cool with that. Like Nas, it seems like he's cool with that. So when he yeah. gets on the album, uh, these most recent albums, he's rapping well. He's not rapping as his greatest peak, but he's rapping well about kind of what he's doing right now and what kind of life he's living as a 50 year old man, not as a when I was 19, we was in the projects. You know, he, he had a line about that, and he had a line about his current life. And then, you know, he kind of 
talks about the things that he does that's that's current. Because if you can't rap about your real life, then what are you doing? You faking you faking it. And hip hop's always about being true to yourself. And that's my problem with the with the Meek Mill, you know, stuff. Like I I I feel like I mean, and Rick Ross, you know what we talk. I, I just feel like they are playing to a crowd, playing to a certain thing. Like you, Bryce, maybe people that that feel like you, you know, that they feel like their audience wants to hear a certain thing instead of mm-hmm. talking about your real life experience, instead of talking about the changes you you know, or or your you know, real opinions and things like that. And I think, uh, I mean, I prefer. I always have preferred, you know. Artists talking about just whatever's true to them, whatever's real to them in that in that time. It doesn't matter if it's Odyssey, at, um, you know, this year just talking about how how much you you know don't like going out with people or whatever. Like you know, uh, you know, uh, Black Milk I'm um, about how how depressed everybody was over COVID and whatever. You know, like it's whatever is is on your heart. Make that music, and I, I appreciate that. I, I don't think it has to be the same content over and over again. I think that that's that shows a lack of creativity in you, you know. But it is what it is. I mean, you can be good at making the same thing over and over. So if that's what you want to give, I'm not mad at it though. Like if you're good at it, but mm-hmm. that can get tired. I'm not surprised that some people don't want to hear that all the time. I like a mix, right? I like to hear gangster songs and then serious songs and then back to whatever songs and then a party song. And so I like to, to hear different things at all times. So I'm not mad at if if you just an artist that only makes music that's this this deep, then that's cool, you know. And then I'll switch to another artist that's got more depth. 